Good morning, Trinity, and welcome to Musical Mondays. You may have seen that we're going to have Campfire Vespers on Friday, October 15th at 6 p.m. in the back lot. And if you saw that, you might have thought, what is Vespers? Well, many people who grew up Lutheran or even in other Christian traditions may have heard the word Vespers and may or may not have known what it means. Vespers is a word for worship in the evening. In the ancient monasteries and in religious communities continuing up until today, there are set times of prayer throughout the day. Vespers is in the evening, and you may have heard the word matins. That's morning prayer, prayer in the morning. So on October 15th, we're going to have Campfire Vespers, an evening service around the campfire, around a fire pit in the back lot, brief time of worship, some s'mores, um, watching a movie on the big screen, and I think maybe even ordering pizza. So lots to look forward to with that for Campfire Vespers on the 15th of October. Our hymnal, Evangelical Lutheran Worship, has a set of hymns for the morning and for the evening. So the morning hymns in our hymnal, and you can look at these sometime when you're in church, morning hymns are right after the sending hymns. And the first morning hymn is number 552, which is Blessed Be the God of Israel, the song or the canticle of Zechariah. And that is the quintessential morning hymn. It has been a part of morning worship, morning liturgies in monasteries and religious communities for centuries. Blessed be the God of Israel who comes to set us free. And then if you flip through a little bit, we get to the evening hymns beginning at number 560. And the quintessential evening hymn is the Song of Mary, the Magnificat or the Canticle of Mary that we often hear read or sung in Advent or Christmas. But in the tradition of the church, the Magnificat has been sung at evening worship, at Vespers, for centuries and centuries. One of my favorite evening hymns is number 569, The Day You Gave Us, Lord, Has Ended. It's a beautiful tune, really beloved by many of our siblings in Christ in the Episcopal Church and the Anglican tradition, but it's been a part of Lutheran hymnody for a long time, and it's really beautiful. And we don't get to sing it very much because we don't have evening services that often, except in Advent or Lent. So I'm always looking for excuses to sing evening hymns. Fortunately, our new hymnal supplement, All Creation Sings, you've heard me talk a lot about this book because I really love it. We don't have it in our pews, maybe yet, but it's a beautiful purple book with lots of wonderful hymns and songs in it. All Creation Sings has morning and evening hymns as well. And 
Fortunately, it has a morning version of The Day You Gave Us, Lord, Is Ended that's called The Night You Gave Us, God Has Ended. So we will have a chance at some point to sing this morning hymn, The Night You Gave Us, God Has Ended. Uh, current church musician and hymn writer Wayne Wold wrote the text for this. The night you gave us, God has ended. The darkness hails the sun's bright rays. As shadows flee and earth awakens, we rise again to sing your praise. Mm -hmm. 